Adding a riser block to your bandsaw is a great way to increase the versatility of your machinery. For example, today we're going to put a 6 inch riser block in this 14 inch cast iron bandsaw. The benefit is you raise the upper half of the machine and now instead of a 6 inch capacity you have 12 inches of height cutting capacity. So let's look at the simple tools and equipment you need to get that job done. The first thing you're going to need is a riser block kit containing a riser block, a rear blade guard, a guide post, a front blade guard, and a connector bolt. Of course you'll need instructions and our kit even came with a blade. These kits will range from fifty to a hundred dollars. You also need a couple of your own tools. Just as a word of caution you may need some larger wrenches that you may need to buy or borrow from a friend. As always, before you begin any maintenance operation on your equipment, always unplug it. Now let's take that blade out. You'll need to remove the throat plate, the table alignment pin, and then release the tension off the blade. Slip the blade out of your saw and set aside. Now remove the rear blade guard. You also may have to remove the starter switch depending on how your saw is configured. We only needed to remove the cable clamp. When you remove the connector bolt, the upper half of the saw becomes very unstable. You'll want a friend to help you support it while you remove the bolt. Using a couple wrenches, remove the connector bolt. With the connector bolt removed, lay the top half of the saw aside on the floor. The base of the saw has two alignment pins that correspond with holes in the bottom of the riser block. You will also notice there are alignment pins in the top of the riser block that align the upper part of your saw when you reinstall it. Now retrieve the long connector bolt and fish it through the riser block. Tilt it. Now reinstall the washer and nut. Now retrieve your wrenches and tighten everything up. Now that the hard part's complete, we want to install the new rear blade guard and then we'll start working on the front blade guard. Now remove the front blade guard and the upper blade guides. You also need to replace the guide post. with the new one supplied with your kit. Now reinstall the blade guides on the new guide post. And install the new blade guard using the hardware that you removed earlier. Now we've taken you through all the basic steps to installing your riser block. You'll need to also install the blade and tune up the saw. The total project should take you less than a half hour. For more information on tuning up your saw, go to woodmagazine.com.